So we are going to work on graphing in point slope form. So if we remember the general form of point slope is the y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. That's a funny looking x. Um, so if you remember with this, the x1 and the y1 is a point that's an ordered pair where x1 y1 is the point that is on the line. And m, as always, is our slope. So if we look at these two equations that we have and we want to graph them, what we are going to do is we need to first identify the point, the x1, y1, and then we identify the slope. So if we look here, so we have y minus 3 equals 2 times x minus 4. So if we look at the x minus 4, the x point of, or the x coordinate for that ordered pair is 4. And because it's a minus 4, it makes it a plus 4. Because if you remember, we always substitute it in. If it's a positive, we leave it minus. If it's a negative, we turn it to a plus. And then the 3 is the y value. So the point for this line is 4, 3. And if I want to graph that, I'm going to start at my origin and I'm going to go right 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I'm going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3. So there is the point 4, comma 3. Next, we're gonna use our slope. And if you remember, slope is m. So here, two is m, or our slope. So our slope is two. And what that means is we're gonna go up two, one, two, and then we're gonna go right one. Because it's a positive slope, both are going to be positive. So let's do it again, one, two, over one. We go back to the original point. If we go the opposite, if we go down, then we gotta go left, because two negatives make a positive. And then we can go down to one, and we can keep going. And now, yes, I know I tell you guys, make sure your graph goes all the way through the graph, but I didn't do that bad, Mr. Harris. Um, but I want to just kind of show you guys, again, how to graph using point slope. We identify our point based on the x1, y1, and then we need our slope. And from those two points, we can then create a line. So let's do another one. This next one, y plus 5 equals negative 4 thirds times x minus 7. Here we need to identify our ordered pair. We have the x value, which is a 7. Because it's a minus 7, it stays positive. And the y value, because it's plus 5, that would make it a negative 5. So when we're doing these, we do opposite signs. If it's a negative, it's supposed to be positive. If it's positive, it's supposed to be negative. So if we plot the ordered pair, 7 comma negative 5, we go over 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven, then we go down five. One, two, three, four, five. Boom, there's the point seven, negative five. Now we gotta identify our slope. Our slope is M equals negative four thirds. So if we use that, so if we go down four, one, two, three, four, and then we go right three, and my little screen thingy is popping up, so let me try to move it. Nope, it's not letting me move it. There it goes. Now we can move it. There we go. Good. So we go down four, one, two, three, four, and then right one, two, three, and we got a point. Well, we ran out of room down here, so we can go reverse. If we go up four, one, two, three, four, then we got to go left one, two, three, and we draw our point. Then we keep going one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Boom. And we draw a straight line. We should be using a straight edge, not trying to freehand it like Mr. Harris is doing. So now the, the line of y plus 5 equals negative 4 thirds times x minus 7 is here in the red. So remember, when we are graphing these, what we do is we identify our point, which is the x1, y1, plot that point. Then we use our slope to generate more points. So just like with slope intercept, where we plotted our y intercept and then use slope, now we are plotting our point and then using slope to create more. All right, so we do have an on your own here. Um, here is a chance if you would like to pause the video and you could try these on your own. Um, this would be a good chance to make sure you understand what you're doing. Um, so again, so if, if you want to, you can pause the video and you can um, check to see how you do this. And I'm trying to remember how to pause my recording. So here, if you actually did pause the video, you can see the two graphs, the blue graph over here. This has the ordered pair negative six, negative one. We plotted that, and then we used the slope of one half, up one over two. 
to create our line, that's the blue one. And then the black one, the one on the right, we have the ordered pair two comma one with a slope of negative three. We use that to create another two more points. And again, you always can check this slope's positive from left to right, it goes up. This slope's negative from left to right, it goes down. So if you did try your on your own and you got these, that's awesome. If you didn't get these, then uh, hopefully the next couple examples will help you out. So let's take a look at these. So here's three more. I know you're sitting there going, we just graphed them, we got them. But these are kind of some funny cases here, um, which is why I wanna go over these ones. So if we take a look here, this first one, y equals one third times x minus five. A lot of you guys might think and go, oh, that's in um, slope intercept form because it's y equals. Not so fast, right? Because if we see the x minus five is in parentheses. So this is still in point slope form. Uh, we do have the point where x1 is a 5. But then if you remember, we talk about we if we add 0, we don't write it because we don't say, like, I have 5 plus 0 dollars. You just say I have 5 dollars. You don't need to include the plus 0. So we don't need to include the plus 0 on this here. Either. So there is an assumed y plus 0. So that means the y1 value is a 0. So we're gonna plot the point five, zero. So we go over five, one, two, three, four, five, and we draw a point. And then we use our slope of one third. So M equals one third. So we go up one, right three, one, two, three. Can't do it again. So we can go down one, left one, two, three. Down one, one, two, three. Got some points, connect them, create our line, make sure you use a straight edge. So your line is better than mine. So again, with this one, when you don't see Y plus something, or y minus something, you then know that the y1 value is zero. All right, let's look at this next one. y plus two equals negative x minus three. There's no number for my m. Well, let's first look at the point. So if we look at the ordered pair, we have x minus three. So since the minus three, we know that x1 value is a positive three. And the y1 value, it's a plus two. So we should have a negative two value. So let's plot the point three, negative two. One, two, three, one, two. So here's that point three, negative two. Now we got to figure out what is our slope? Well, there's just a minus sign there. Well, if we remember, if there's no number there, there's always that one, right? So it's like if there's no number in front of the variable, so there's no coefficient, that means the coefficient is one. So if there's just a negative sign, that means it's negative one. So that means our slope here is negative one. So if we go up one, we go left one. Up one, we go left one. Up one, we go left one. Or if we go down one, we go right one. Down one, we go right one. And so we got all these points, we connect them, and we create our straight line. So again, if there's no value there, just a minus sign, it is a negative one. And now let's look at this next one. This next one's really funny. It's just y minus nine equals x plus two. There's no parentheses here. So there's no m times whatever. Well, actually there is because the value we can multiply by anything is one. So there is a hidden one in here um, because if I would put these in parentheses and put a one, because so I do one times x is still x, one times two is still two. So there is actually a hidden value. So let's first look at the point. The ordered pair x plus two, that would be my x1 value is a negative two. Y minus nine, my y1 value is a positive nine. So we're gonna go negative two up nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. So there's the point negative two, nine. And again, now here our m, because there's nothing outside the parentheses, there isn't even any parentheses, our m is one. So what this means is we're gonna go up one over one, down one, left 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 one. Okay, we keep going if we want to, lots of fun. Okay, drawing all these points and then we connect our dots and we have this line here. So we were able to draw three different lines based on three different equations. So remember when we are in point slope form, you need to first identify your point. Identify your x1, y1, plot that point. Then you use your slope. And then you use your slope to create more points so that you can then generate your line. I hope this helped. Um, and if not, uh, hopefully 
guys can help each other out with this. Um, and hopefully this recording helped you out.